Hey man, we back with another discussion. You already know what it is. Today we got yo, we got people with us in the building. We got Zokin in the building. Hey, look out for that boy. We got Darren's in the building. Hey man, today we had a we had a serious conversation, man. We're talking about goals. What's keeping us from achieving the goals that we set out? We're gonna talk about it. Maybe it's motivation, maybe it's distraction. Hey, I don't wanna give you too much. Just stay tuned. Hey, before that. You need to subscribe to this channel. After you're done subscribe, subscribing, hit that notification bell. And then after you finish watching the video, hey, hit that like button, man. And don't forget to answer the power question of the day. Hey, one of these days, we're going to select somebody to win something for the power question of the day. Hey, you tuned in to the discussion. Why are you looking all preppy like your mama watching this? Like he's like he's like oh snap, uh, yo this guy is funny. <laughs> There's that out. But yeah, like I was telling you, bro. Uh, uh, we we were talking about you know uh, the goals, the goals and the aspirations that we all have, the things that come, the roadblocks, the distractions that block you from those goals. So okay, I know you wanna. I'm getting on you because I know you want, you say you want to be a, a computer engineer. Yeah. And let me see. I'm going to look up how long does it takes. You should know this by hand. How long does it take to be a computer engineer? For school or for like, to, like to get in? Yeah, for school and everything. Four years. Four years to be a computer engineer? Yeah. My gains of formal education and extensive college it usually takes up to four to seven years long to become a computer engineer students are required to earn a bachelor's degree of four years and can continue education by choosing master's degree for two years to advance your career okay so i guess like the entry level is four years right yeah. to become a, a computer engineer That's four years to become a computer so, engineer let me ask you this Mm. There's no way you could do it without going to school. Like, no, if you want to, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, there's there's no way. You oh, do it. Like, yeah, kind of like for nursing, like this, like ways to for nursing, you could like nursing. two years and then yeah, nurse, yeah, yeah, but you still have to go to school. Yeah, there's a, just for two years though. That's it. Yeah. yeah, so if you like get like a certificate or like something like that. Nah, to be a computer, nah, that's gonna be a problem because they're not gonna know who's talking because oh, they don't see you. Right, right, right. Yeah. Uh, you see, man, we have, you know, sign in the background here. He talks about it. What's up? Yeah, he here. But, um, but yeah, so, okay. You want to be a computer, like your question. There's no way to, like, cut the route of being a computer engineer. You can't go and go to get a certificate or go to trade school for, like, six months to become a computer engineer. You can do an internship. Yeah, yeah but. And get paid for it. You being doing an internship don't make you a computer engineer. I mean, he's still getting money. No, 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 like he's still he's like. Yeah. Do like, you know like, internship is to get experience? Internship don't give you a job, and internship is not long term. So, for example, if you're interning like uh, to be a computer engineer, you could intern while you're getting your degree. Yes, but you know to get that job at where wherever you're interning, you must finish and have the requirements, which is a four year degree. It's saying minimum you need to be a computer engineer is a four-year degree. Yeah. So yeah, they'll allow you to do an internship while you're getting your degree, but to get a permanent job, you need your four-year degree. So now this conversation is not like about like being a computer engineer. We started off like that because like that's one of what you want to do. This conversation is more, this discussion is more about like, yo, like. Okay, you want to be a computer engineer. Um, you know, you graduated high school. What? What was your year? 2019. 2019. We're in 2022. So it's about to be three years since you graduated. Um, okay. Um, you still not in the pro. You know, you right now you're supposed to have your AA already, but you don't have your AA yet. So you say you want to be a computer engineer. Just like a lot of people say they want to do things. Like I talk to him all the time. Like he, you know, he's an artist uh, 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 on the, uh, with notes. Um, he, he wants to be a, you know, a Christian artist, a, a gospel rapper. But 
a lot of people have dreams, they have goals, has aspirations, but it's like, okay, if everyone have these dreams, why don't everybody reach their, their dreams or goals? Like you hear the quotes, like the richest place in the, uh, the richest place in the world, what? I know you heard it before, is the graveyard. Why? Because you have so much dreams, you have so much inventions, you have so much songs that was never written, that was never, these things were never done. Why? Because people die with those dreams. Why is that? And look, next year is going to be your fourth year, right? Since you got out of You're supposed to be graduating with your bachelor's. You were supposed to next year to becoming a computer engineer, but that's not the case. So you still have the goal of becoming a computer engineer, but you have to realize like, okay, there's a reason. Okay, it takes me four years. Three years already passed. I'm not nowhere near that my, 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 my goal. What, what's, why, why am I not near my goal? Like, you know, I remember we were talking off, off, uh, off camera, you were talking about, you know, at first you took too much classes, and I guess that made you like, what? Like you couldn't handle it? Yeah. So, okay, so you see when we have, go a lot of times, like we have a goal, but we don't really know what it takes to accomplish that goal. So that's one of the main, like that's one of the biggest things. We, a long time, and I was talking to you as well, you want to be like a big gospel artist. Uh, you want to be a you want to be a big artist. But I sat down and talked to you, and like really like, do you did you know what it takes to be that that big artist? You thought it was just about going in the studio, making songs. When being an artist, like I said the the, the 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 making song part of being an artist, making the music part is probably like plays 10, 15%. There's so much more, your marketing, your PR, like so much more things that makes a good successful artist. But you just, you just like, man, I wanna be a big artist. You just like, I wanna be a computer engineer. Like, but you didn't really know what it's gonna take for you to be that computer engineer. What it really gonna take for you to be that big artist. So that's why I, I remember when we was talking earlier, it was like, yo, a lot of people, they end up in McDonald's, and not to say for those who work at McDonald's, there's nothing wrong with you, but there's a lot of people that end up working at McDonald's for the rest of their life. Did they plan to work for McDonald's? No, they had dreams of themselves. They had dreams themselves, um, but they just never got to it. I gave my story about like, you know, there was a point in time when I was younger, I worked for Foot Locker. And even before I worked for Foot Locker, I knew a lot of the managers. And a lot of the managers, bruh, like a lot of the managers that's now 30, 40, they told you, man, I started working with the company when I was 15. I mean, not 15, 16, 17, 18. So I'm like, bro, it's 20 years later. How did you get stuck here? Because I know when you was 15, 16, when you was younger, you probably had dreams of doing other things. Like there's some people that wanted to be a computer engineer. So it's like, yo, what's, how, how, like, how do we get, caught up in the trap and we forget the things that we needed to do in order to accomplish what we said we was gonna accomplish. Like how? Bill. You said bills. Like that what do you mean by bills? Speaking like for the people. Well, well, okay. Well, let him elaborate now. I'm gonna see what you think it is. Bills do because you know, there's life, like responsibilities. Then you kind of see like, dang, I gotta work. Oh, okay. So yeah. like some people like, they sacrifice their goals for like to take care of now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, let's just say, you know, okay, uh, let's say, you, I don't know, you wanna be an athlete. So, you know you gotta practice, you know you gotta do this, you gotta go to the camps, you gotta do that. Mm -hmm. But you also gotta feed your, let's say, I don't know, you gotta feed your family. Or let's say if you're a young person, like, you know, you have a parent to take care of you, but you still have like little bills yeah. yourself that, yeah. okay, so yeah, that, that, that's a big one. What you say you don't think it's good, what do you think it is? You're unmotivated. Oh, you're not motivated. Okay, was that your case? Because that's a good one. Not being motivated is definitely uh, something. So in your case, what happened when you got out of high school till now that caused you to like got off track of the whole 
computer engineer. Oh, for like for that, like I ain't know where to start. I had nobody to teach me where to start. Oh, so it took time for you to actually get in the process. Yeah. Ah. Uh, so, but why do you feel like uh, the motivation? Like, why did you say motivation? Like, was it part when you did find out where to start? Were you not motivated? I mean, I was like, it's like, you know, it's like, damn, you gotta do this, you gotta do that. Like, so, most of the time, most people think like, you wanna take the short route. Well, not, not, not the they route. wanna take the short route. Yeah. yeah. Like, there's okay. no other way to take the short route. Yeah, because especially stuff that has to do with school. Yeah. If it takes four years to get to a degree or whatever, there's no short route for that. Like there are some careers, like I remember you mentioned like nurse. There's some nurses, they get the AS in nursing and they can work right away. Yeah. And there's some, they don't take that route. They take the four year route where they have to get their bachelor, uh, the, 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 the bachelors. And they take four years. But there are some careers you're not gonna find no you know shortcut especially like bro i, I realize a lot of people want to be entrepreneurs because they think oh yeah entrepreneurship they think like yo i'm gonna definitely take the shortcut but it don't work like that like it don't just work as an entrepreneur and that's why a lot of people avoid going to school because some of the things in school you can't take a shortcut but they think like yo, if i'm a businessman but I don't have to spend four years, like... Don't get lucky. Yeah, yeah. we see, yeah. I don't want to encourage people to just go on luck. Nah. <laughs> because, like, yeah, and that's the problem. That's why a lot of people want to be entrepreneurs, YouTubers, because they see this guy pick up a camera, he got blessed, bro, well, he blew up in one year. You think you're going to go record, man, you don't get nothing. So, yeah, so, okay, yeah, motivation is definitely a player role. Why, like, you know, we don't, a lot of people don't get to accomplish their goals. Um, the thing is, this, uh, bills. I'll say, I won't say bills. I'll say responsibilities or, yeah, life. But it's not just responsibilities because sometimes there's some people that get sick out of nowhere. Like, or somebody didn't plan for a child. Then they have a child and it's like, dang. Now I can't just think about me. I gotta think about that kid too. So, yeah, but one thing about it is though, like <clears throat> your goals and dreams is something like, I don't know, like I said, I like talking to people about this because there's so much people like that don't follow their goals, that don't follow their dreams, that don't go after like the, 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 the like, you know, their desires. Because it's like they fall to the life. They fall to life. And it's sad to say they fall to life. Like, if my goal, let's say, man, my goal is to make it to the NBA. I can't just expect nothing to change from now until I make it. When you have a goal, you gotta, you're not gonna know what are the obstacles, but you gotta expect like you're gonna hit some obstacles. So if my goal is to make it to the NBA, I'm not just gonna like, yo, the moment something happened, let's just say I get sick, you know, man, I'm done playing, I, I'm straight. Or let's say somebody in my family gets sick, or let's say I have to work more. That it just means I'm gonna have to make more sacrifice. Uh, a lot of time when we have goals, we don't think about like, yo, we're gonna, we're gonna have to make a lot of sacrifices. We look at our goals from where we at now. We look at, okay, right now I may not be working, or right now I have people to help me. But you gotta also think, man, your situation may change before you accomplish that goal. So what are you gonna do? So for example, let's say your situation, let's say you stand with your people, you don't gotta pay rent. You wanna be a computer engineer. Boom, something happened where like, yo, now you on your own, you gotta pay rent. So now you gotta work more. Are you still, do you still wanna be a computer engineer? Yeah. So now do you know it's gonna be harder for you to be a computer engineer? So, when I mean harder, you gotta work and go to school. You gotta work and go to school. I mean, like every day, every, like what's it, like every day, everything's a challenge. So, but the thing is, it's one thing to say. No, bro, I'm telling you. He trust me, my boy. Hey, trust me. My boy, he he, he speak up from experience. Not easy. Like, bro, like, okay, a lot of people see right. They hear like, I don't really keep their name in mind. But you hear the people like, 
Um, I think Bill Gates, uh, Elon Musk. You hear some people. A lot of them, they dropped out of school, right? A lot of people, like, oh, yeah, I'm going to drop out of school and do the same thing. Or a lot of people, like, you hear, like, man, I quit my job to pursue my goal. A lot of people just think, like, yo, those people who made those decisions, they made it on funny games. But, uh, and that goes back to um, to explain to you that it's not easy. Having a full-time, bro, I tried it. And a lot of time you see these employees, I mean, these people that you heard that drop out of school or that quit a job. The reason why they dropped out of school or quit a job is not because they were lazy. It's because they realized what they were doing. They needed to put so much focus into it that, bro, school, with school, with work, or anything else, they were not going to make it. Bro, there's some stuff, bro, like, bro, I commend anyone. Who goes to school full time and work full time? Yeah, that's a bruh, crazy, bruh. Bruh, It's another level when you could do that. Because, bro, like, bro, school that's itself bruh. takes so much time, like, energy. Like, bruh, and we're not talking about somebody who comes to school just like, yeah. Nah, like really we're talking about studying and get the work done and get good grades. And, like, bro, make sure they understand that person, bro, you. Bro, I talk to students right now. By the way, I didn't graduate college. But I have a lot of friends with all type of degrees. And I've seen them go through the process. And I'm like, bruh. And I was in college with myself. And I was a student. Like, I picked up stuff quick. So I was I never used to study. Um, but it's not like I was getting straight A's. I was like getting the C's and a few B's. I was a C and B student. Um, but, and that was because I was not studying, but the kids that, you know, that's maintaining the GPAs, cause you know, when you're in certain programs, you got to keep a GPA, bro. I've seen friends. I, I have a friend who's an accountant. There was a time he was studying, bro. Eight hour days. Like I have a lot of friends who are nurses, bro. When they were studying for whether like their board test, whatever they were, bro. Like my sisters are nurses. I have different people in the medical, uh, I have family in the medical uh, industry, Bro, in the medical profession, bro, they studied their butt off when they was trying to get it. So when you have a job, it's not that you don't want to work because you're trying to make money. And you still got to take care of yourself. But it's like, dang, like, you realize the time that you'll be working, you could be using it studying. And then when you try to balance the both, you realize you won't do so good. So that's why a lot of people, like, quit. Like, a lot of young people, like, they think it's cool. I mean, I'm going to just quit. It's not... Just quitting is not a like you these people they're quitting for a reason because they they need to focus. It's not easy, like I said, to manage like two or three things at once, especially if you're trying to do it at a high level. Now, if you're trying to go to school, you barely passing, yeah, get a full-time job and you'll barely pass. But if you're really trying to like get in, pass, do what you gotta do, sometimes it's really hard to do both. Now there are people that's blessed enough that they're able to do both. But those people, like those are the discipline, discipline, discipline. And I'll say this, I remember when I was trying to start, like I, I tried to start many businesses before they fell. And I remember like my last business when I was starting, I was working. And I remember, I, I thought I was slick. I said, you know what? I got a manager that would allow me to only work two days. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, I'm Gucci. So I only schedule myself two days. He'll be like, yo, you can't work extra shifts? Every time I said, nah, nah, I'm straight. I was a guy known for not working extra shift because I told myself I was gonna dedicate those other um, five days or four days really, because I don't really do yeah. work on Sunday towards the business. I even told myself when I get off of work, because I told them I don't work night shifts. So I work from 7 a.m. to like 3 p.m. So I used to tell myself at the 3 p.m. when I get off of work, bro, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go work on my, bro. I'll get off, bro. I'm tired. I don't want to do nothing, <laughs> bro. I ain't do nothing. I had the same shit. And, and what you did? Once you clock out, what happened? <laughs> Straight to the crib. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. You think like, bro? Okay. 
Because it makes sense. You're like, it's 3 p.m. Yeah, I still got a lot of time in the day. That's how you think it, but nah. Nah. <laughs> you're going to get to the crib, you're going to be like, yeah, oh, I ain't doing that. I'm, a, bro. You are gonna get something to eat? And go to sleep. You tired? I'm telling you. Question. The power of question. Y'all know what it is. Question. What is what is a goal in June that you got? Comment. One of your goals. I want to see the big goals out there. What is a goal? His goal to be a computer engineer. His goal is to tour the world. You know, bringing people to uh, to the to the gospel by, with, with his music. His goal. My man want to develop films. My boy want to change the world through his filmmaking and all that good stuff. What's your goal? My goal, you know, is to be a well-balanced man. I, I, I want to have multiple businesses and I want to help change the world through business, through entrepreneurship, and through coaching people. That's my goal. So I want to know your goal. What's your goal? Comment down below. Uh, we want to know your goal. And that's a power question today. And we out. Yes, sir. Another one of my goals is to show up, boys. I can't guard me. <laughs> you can't guard him.